Oh, sit. Oh, that's where you are. Bro, what's up? I was in a no win situation. Your defeat would be the end of you. Your victory would mean losing my wife. I just couldn't bear to face either outcome. I don't care about myself, but please forgive Edia. What? No. No, bro. I okay, we're going to talk more in a second. So is she here or not? Like. They are both here. What is happening? My children, please forgive me. I raised you as my own, yet still I, we feel the same way. We fought knowing you were our matron. Idiot, you are seeds. You cannot back out of a battle, I know. Yo, what is happening? What, is, I just can't believe how casual of a conversation that we're having right now. You were magnificent. However, it's not over yet. At any time I may, May what? Please listen to what Edia has to say. Who knows when she may be possessed again? So she's been getting possessed? It's, it's probably that helmet that she's wearing. What is that? I just feel like that weird ass helmet. That's some X-Men shit. I feel like it's taking over. I can play cards with Sid right now in the middle of this. That's crazy. I definitely shouldn't do that. Here we go. Shit. Fuck! I wonder if you can play her. You can play the sorceress let's go what <laughs> i have been possessed all this time i was at the mercy of sorceress ultimicia ultimicia is a sorceress from the future a sorceress many generations ahead of our time so ultimicia is a sorceress as well in the future so the actual antagonist of the game is being revealed in disc three? Oh, okay ultimicia's objective is to find elon she's after elon's mysterious power so she's from the future but if she's if, if she's possessing people in the past she has she has to have some kind of power similar to elon so may maybe they're related. Maybe there's some sort of relationship there. I'm not sure. There was no way I was going to let Ultimicia get a hold of Elon. Well, that makes sense. That makes sense because this whole time I was wondering why Edia wanted to protect Elon, but also was going after her. It was super confusing. So maybe this actually, maybe this actually makes sense. The only thing I could do was surrender my soul to Ultimicia and lose control of my mind. That was the only way I could save Elon. Was it though? And the end result, well, you all know. The sorceress that appeared in Galbadia was in fact Ultimicia inside my shell. Ultimicia has yet to achieve her goal. I believe she may use my body again to carry out her plans. I plan to make a stand this time, but if that does not work, I may have to face you in battle once again. Have you all heard of Sorceress Adel before? Yes, yes. She's the sorceress who once ruled Esther. She's currently missing. The Galbadians must have thought I was the sorceress who received Sorceress Adel's powers. However, that's not the case. I received the powers of the previous sorceress at the age of five. I believe Sorceress Adel is still alive and that Ultimicia released my body in order to, to use the body of Sorceress Adel. Okay. Ah, uh, okay. All right, I'm... All right, okay. Sorceress Adele is the type who will not hesitate to use her powers for her own selfish desires. Should Sorceress Ultimicia from the future bequeath her anger and hatred unto Adele, their power could be unimaginable. Okay. All right, I, I, feel, like the, I feel like we're doing some mental gymnastics here. Okay, so, so, it turns out that the actual enemy is a sorceress from the future named Ultimicia. And Ultimicia wants Elon. I'm assuming because of Elon's power to send people into the past, which we don't know where Elon gets that power from. Sorceress Ultimicia is possessing Sorceress Edia in order to make that happen. But she relinquished Sorcerer Sorceress Edia, I'm assuming when we beat her in battle. She let go of Sorceress Edia and now we think that she's trying to possess Sorceress Adele instead of Edia. 
and their combination would be more powerful, which does make sense. Possessing this sorceress failed, so she's going after a stronger sorceress to try and possess her to go after Elon. And while Sorceress Edia's mind is free, she's calling on the seeds to help her make a stand against Sorceress Ultimecia if she were to come back and try to possess Sorceress Edia. But we don't know where Adele is at the moment, so if she's successful at if she's successful at possessing Adele, she wouldn't even need Edia, but maybe we could join forces to fight Adele. And then Ultimecia is in the future, so maybe if we prevent her from being successful in the present, that's how we fight her in future, by preventing her from ever existing if we're successful in the present. I think that's what's going on. I tried my best. I'm genuinely trying my best. It took over 100% of my brain power to put that together. So if I'm wrong, fuck it. I'm just wrong. And I just don't know what game I'm playing anymore. With all of the mental fuckery in Seven with Cloud's memory, oh, Seven was just a warm up. This shit right here, this is for the adults. This is for the big boys. Or, or it's just bad writing. <laughs> it's just terrible, lazy, convenient, MacGuffin filled writing. Or this is, this is big brain shit that Seven only dreamed of. I don't know which it is. All I know is that when I'm done playing Final Fantasy VIII, I'm either going to be praising this story and this writing as some of the best writing and narrative in the history of the medium, or I'm going to take the biggest, fattest, stinkiest, most Taco Bell, most diabolical, most diuretical shit of all time on this writing. There's no shot it's anything in between. <sighs> Let's proceed. Matron, do you know what's wrong with Renoa? She was with us when we fought you. After the battle, her body was cold. She didn't move. Forgive me, Squall. I don't think I can be of any help. Squall, I understand how you feel, but you are in a position of leadership. The other students at Garden have a right to know about the outcome of the battle and what's to come. Take whatever information you can get here back to Garden. Remember, it wasn't just Renoa everyone fought. I get it. Ultimecia wants to send her consciousness from this period further. Oh! Okay, so Ultimecia wants to send her consciousness from the present, where they're at in the game right now. She wants to use Elon to send her own consciousness back even further. Ooh, if that's true, that actually makes sense. Okay. What's she gonna do in the past? You were looking at me. You smiled when our eyes met. Okay. Time compression. Who's talking right now? Like, why did the screen have to go black? I can't understand what's happening. I'm so confused. Who's talking? It's time magic. Past, present, and future get compressed. Wait, 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 wait. Are we on some rebirth shit right now? Is that what we're fucking doing? Bro, is this game that far ahead of its time? Holy shit. If that's what we're doing, that's some big brain shit. What's going to happen to the world? Why do something like that? Renoa, give me another chance. Zell, yo, Squall. Selfie, you're not even listening. Hey, we're worried about Renoa too, you know? Then why don't you... Forget it. Why don't you what? Say it, Squall. Say it! That about covers the update. Oh, oh yeah, so nonchalant. Yep, that's, that. you know, you know, that's what we learned. You know, just whatever. I mean, if you can use any of this information, uh, don't know if any of this will be helpful, uh, but that's, that's what we found out when we went there, you know? Our task at hand is to find Elon, then we'll deal with Ultimecia. I believe that Elon is on the White Seed ship. We're setting out to look for it. I wonder where it could be. We'll gather information for a while. Be prepared for battle at any time. And Sorceress Edia is back at her home. <laughs> She's probably not our enemy anymore. Let's just leave her alone. It's disc three. I'm like 30 hours into the playthrough and they've switched the whole game antagonist on me.
Yo, eight doesn't give a fuck. You got to respect the balls, man. You've got to respect the balls. The only thing I can say is that the mid game has been absolutely like batshit crazy. And I honestly believe, I honestly believe that there's no way that this game can maintain this momentum of storytelling. I honestly don't believe that there's any way that disc four could be this nuts. If they're able to keep this going through disc four, and if the ending of this game is anywhere near as insane as the middle point of the game, <laughs> even if I don't like what they do with it, it might be so crazy. I love it anyway. It might be a, it might be a last of us part two situation where it's like, I hate, I hate this. I, I, I hate this writing so much, but I, I can't hate on you anymore. You had a vision that I'm assuming you came to after heavy drug use and you committed to it in a weird way. I respect it. They have set the bar so high with disc two and disc three so far that I just don't see how disc four can, can top this. I don't think it can. I feel so bad for my editor because my editor, I've been giving him so much work. I've been giving him hours of footage to, to comb through, to make videos out of for you guys. And I think at the end of this stream, I'm going to have, <laughs> I'm going to have like a, another hour of footage for him. This is crazy. Sorry, Sparky.